we just provide web development services and graphic design services mainly to small businesses in Australia. Oh, look, it's been it's it's been great so far. Obviously, it helps. I think if you get the right candidate, um, <laughs> of course. So, uh, obviously, if uh, if we had the wrong candidate, then things might have been a little bit uh, a bit bumpier. But I've I've really not needed to speak to anyone since we hired Kevin uh, because he has uh, he's been really fantastic. So the just uh, yeah, just just having gotten the right candidate, I think, was probably the first time around when I thought about going down this path, I, I didn't perhaps feel comfortable with the candidates. And then at that point started to rethink whether I needed it. Whereas mm -hmm. uh, second time around uh, interviewing Kevin, I felt that he was the right candidate right away. And uh, thus it made the decision much easier to, to embark on. So no, it's all, it's all been very good. I, I, I honestly, uh, I would be terrified if Kevin left now. Um, <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's added to the business in areas that in the past we didn't bother with because we didn't have the expertise. Um, he has uh, enabled enabled us to not so much take on more work, which was not the plan, but he has enabled mm. me to be comfortable leaving someone with uh, with the work that I've struggled to let anyone do. So. Uh, he, he has been excellent. He's just the right combination of skills that I was looking for. He's a bit of an all-rounder, um, yeah. which, which is what uh, I think you get the best results from. So he's very good. Yeah, look, I, I would. I think that, that one, of the, one of the main things that has been very good, obviously I've outsourced around the world before, but uh, the Philippines, as obviously I'm assuming you're in the Philippines as well, but one of the big issues with going to somewhere like India is uh, just the, the culture. It's mm -hmm. very, sometimes the communication can break down simply because they're very different cultures. Whereas mm -hmm. I feel like Australia and the Philippines are very well aligned in terms of uh, understanding. Yeah, like it just, just and so sometimes it's not all about being the smartest person, just the, from a culture point of view, understanding Australia and us understanding uh, you guys a little bit better has certainly, I think, made the transition much better. He said, when, whenever, whenever, like we all make mistakes, whenever Kevin does something going down the wrong path, he understands immediately when we discuss it, what's happened. So whereas some of the other nationalities and, and outsourced nations can really struggle with understanding where you're coming from. So um, I would recommend remote stuff, you know, location wise, especially with time wise, it's really handy <laughs> being, being almost aligned uh, in time zones, which is really good. Yes. Uh, and, and Kevin seems to have some really good real world experience with very like types of work. And I think that comes back to the culture thing. Um, you know, the Philippines is, I, I guess, I, I hope I don't say the wrong thing here, but very westernized in terms of your economy and business and, and the types of customers that- By the Kevin influence, had, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The type of type of customers that Kevin had already worked with are exactly the kind of customers that we have. So, um, so yeah, no, I, I would recommend remote staff. I think it probably makes sense for people to try part-time first if mm -hmm. they're unsure. Um, one of the big things to remember is that it, there's a lot of work from, from my side in, in learning how to, uh, um, learning how to work with staff if you haven't had them before. So, uh, I, you know, I, you know, your people who hire um, offshore workers need to understand that the offshore worker isn't supposed to understand everything mm -hmm. day one. So it hey. does take many, takes many months to get into a rhythm. And I think Kevin and I are in a really good rhythm now. Um, as I say, Friday, I wasn't in all day and Kevin knew exactly what he needed to do. And he understood that he just had to let me know certain things and, and to not do things if he's unsure. That's just as important as Definitely. doing things. So right. um, yeah, I, I would recommend remote staff for sure. I just think that people need to be really certain of what they're doing first uh, and why they're doing it. Um, mm -hmm. Because uh, that's just as important. Really. Um, this, isn't, this isn't about getting, uh, for me, it, for me, it shouldn't be approached as getting someone at a better rate. It should be about adding a team member. Um, 
some some days we have nothing to do and that's good that's a really good thing so i'm trying to get kevin to understand that if i tell him there's nothing to do today and and i've got some courses for him to do so that he can continue his learning whilst he's being paid um so at the moment we still have some time where we don't have work to do but uh, I, I'm trying to stress that that's a really good thing. Um, when when I say we've got nothing to do today, it means it's amazing. It, it means that we're so good at what we do that we're on top of all the work because the work will always keep coming. So um, yeah, he the he, he yeah he'll be around longer the more days he has nothing to do. If that makes sense, because it means yes. that we are. Look, we have a lot of customers and if we're on top of all the work, it means that we get time off and we will get more customers exactly. because we're so proficient at what we do. Remote staff, empowering remote working relationships.